Today, we will be working on Unit 2, Lesson 4. And there are learning targets for us to meet. Our learning targets are segmenting and blending syllables, drawing the wavy lines. So let's get started with sound blending. Let's practice segmenting with gestures. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist. Then slide through your arm as you blend. So let's get started as we practice using these gestures with words. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow and say the sound For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow and say the sound Oh. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound mm. Then slide through your arm as you blend. And we are fun, beautiful. Let's go on. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound mm. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound eh. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound s. Then slide through your arm as you blend. And that is mess. Good. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound f. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound e. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound sh. Then slide through your arm as you blend. And that is fish. Great job, kids. Let's go on. For the third sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound s. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound i. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound n. Mm. Now slide through your arm as you blend. And that is sign. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go on. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound mm. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound e. For the first sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound mm. Now slide through your arm as you blend. And that is mean. Good. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound z. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound oo. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound mm. Now slide through your arm as you blend. And that is zoom. Good. I hope you are using the gestures. Let's go on. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound mm. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound I. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound s. Now slide through your arm as you blend. And that is nice. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound s. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound e. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound mm. Now slide through your arm as you blend. And that is seem good. It's time to move over to the next segment. Picture card blending. This is the fish. The word fish has three sounds. Watch as I blend and segment the word. Then you will repeat after me. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow and say the sound f. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow and say the sound E. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound SH. Now slide and blend. And that is fish. Good job. I hope you used the gestures. This is number five. The word five has three sounds. Watch as I blend and segment the word. Then you will repeat after me. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow and say the sound f. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound 
I. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound V. Now slide through your arm as you blend. And that is five. Wow! So who can point to the picture of the fish? Good! This is the fish. Wow! Point to the picture of number five. Beautiful! This is number five. Good! This is a rose. The word rose has three sounds. Watch as I blend and segment the word. Then you repeat after me. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound R. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound Oh, for the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound S. Now, slide through your arm as you blend. And that is rose. Good. This is a moon. The word moon has three sounds. Watch as I blend and segment the word. Then you will repeat after me. For the first sound, place your hand above your elbow as you say the sound M. Mm. For the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow as you say the sound U. For the third sound, place your hand on your wrist as you say the sound N. Mm. Now slide through your arm as you blend. And that is moon. Good. Who can point to the picture of the moon? That's right. This is the moon. Beautiful. So point to the picture of the rose. Lovely. This is the rose. It's time to move over to the next segment. The next segment is Mixed Up Monster. Meet a mixed up monster. It is friendly but sometimes has trouble pronouncing words correctly. So let's help him out. This is a fax. Is it correct? Oh no, that is not a fax. This is a dex. Now it is correct. This is a girl. Is it correct? No. This is a shelf. Now it is correct. This is a camera. Is it correct? Yes. This is a camera. It is correct. Good job, monster. This is a monkey. Is it correct? No. This is a cookie. Now it is correct. This is a dollar. Is it correct? Yes. This is a dollar. It is correct. Good job, monster. This is a gun. Is it correct? No, this is a fan. Now it is correct. This is a bottle of ketchup. Is it correct? No, this is a bottle of ketchup. Now it is correct. This is a zamp. Is it correct? No, this is a lamp. Now it is correct. This is a mirror. Is it correct? Yes. Good job, monster. This is a mirror. Thank you, monster. See you later, monster. Urekis, it is drawing time. For the next few minutes, we will practice drawing vertical lines. Point to the top of your chart paper. Point to the middle of your chart paper. Point to the left of your chart paper. Point to the right. Now point to the bottom of your chart paper. This is a wavy line. A wavy line is made by alternating between cups and umps without picking up the crayon. So watch me as I show you how to draw a wavy line using my crayon. This is how to draw a wavy line alternating between cups and arms. Beautiful! Now let's practice drawing wavy lines on paper. 
This takes us to our worksheets. The worksheets we are about to work on shows four animals and four homes. You have to draw a line to connect each animal to its home. So let's practice drawing the wavy line. I hope your materials are ready. Get your unit 2 core language skills workbook and turn over to lesson 4.1. You are told to connect the animals to their home by tracing the wavy lines. The next worksheet has to do with recognizing colors. There are three items in each row. The item at the beginning of the row needs to be colored green and the item at the end of each row needs to be colored red. So this is lesson 4.2. Color the item in the first row green and the item in the last row red. I know you can do it. The next worksheet you have to work on is tracing shapes. This is your take home activity. You are told to trace the lines in each row. Do also for the next page in lesson 4.3. Rake it, we are able to meet our learning targets, segmenting and blending syllables, and drawing wavy lines. Don't forget to attempt your quiz and do your assignments. Love you. Bye.